Welcome to our talk. This is Yuan from Acuity. I'm one of the maintainers of, of Argo Workflows. I'm presenting today with my co-speaker, Ning, who's the tech lead manager of map infrastructure at Too Simple. Today, we are going to talk about how to automate map building pipelines for safe autonomous driving with Argo Workflows at Too Simple. With that, I'm going to hand over to Ning to talk about Argo Workflows for autonomous driving at Too Simple. Okay, thank you, Yuan. Uh, glad to be here. Uh, today, I'm going to talk about a little bit up about how we use Argo Workflow in our map building process. Workflow Engine is one of the fundamental tools in our map building process. When we compare the different workflow tools, we choose uh, Argo Workflows for these reasons. First, it's open source. It gives us the opportunity to read the source code and make necessary changes if needed. And the second is Kubernetes native. All our services are hosted on Kubernetes and it makes perfect sense to have a Kubernetes native workflow engine for easier management and maintenance. Three, availability and scalability. We value availability and scalability a lot and that is what Argo workflow can bring us. Uh, four, uh, five, uh, rich features. Uh, there are a lot of features needed in map building process, especially when human efforts are needed in the middle of a workflow. We need to pause the workflow and wait for the human input and the collaboration, collaborations and the support. We have received very good collaboration and support from equity and help us with some critical features. Uh, next slide, please. Yeah. And, uh, here, let me name some examples of collaborations we had. Uh, one example is during our process, sometimes before we finish the workflow, we don't know which step can cause issues or needed need redo. So if one step fails, we might need to retry a node a few steps before the failed, node, failed one. If we can have a feature to retry an arbitrary node that will make it make it more flex flexible to implement. Another example is we listened on workflow events for notify other microservices, the status changes. We need event aggregation, customization to better meet the requirements. Both of these features are critical for us and equity helped us a lot on these. We work together on issues and the tests. We had a, a lot of pipelines in our whole map building process, like a single bag processing pipeline and the patch pipeline. On the other hand, we use Argo workflow, not only for the map building process, but also in, in our CI CD system for application de deploy deployment and the deployment pipeline. Here are some screenshots of our workflows and the data processing intermediate results. Uh, as you can see in the picture, uh, we have some complex workflows and uh, on the right side, we have some uh, state, uh, map building intermediate uh, data. Uh, I'm gonna hand it over to Yuan. Besides the sp specific use cases at Too Simple that Ning mentioned previously, machine learning pipelines, CICD and infrastructure automation, as well as data processing are among the popular use cases we found in the community members. For example, Trip Advisor uses Argo workflows for CI/CD automation of their machine learning models. Intuit uses it for distributed load testing. You can find more use cases and past presentations at various conferences and meetups from the community in the awesome Argo repository linked at the bottom. Next, I'd like to talk about community contributions. This is a latest diagram from CNCF that provides a project rankings for developer velocity based on project activities, such as uh, activities on pre-requests and issues, the number of commits and so on. Argo is one of the fastest growing CNCF projects. Argo currently has contributions from over 800 contributors, 
We also provide mentoring for new contributors, as well as regular contributors meetings to provide an opportunity for the community to participate in design, design discussions or decisions. There are 40 core maintainers to all the Argo projects from over 10 organizations. Besides active contributions from the community, Argo is also widely adopted. It is used and trusted by more than 200 end user companies, more than 14K Slack members, more than 25K GitHub stars, and 6K forks on GitHub. We also have active feedback loop from user surveys that we send out every year, as well as in-app surveys that users fill out when using the Argo Workflows UI. Below are some example screenshots of the in-app survey. We categorized use cases and actively collect additional use cases from our users. On GitHub, we have different issue templates for bug reports, enhancement requests, mentoring requests, and so on. We also opened GitHub discussions for Q&As and showcases that are easily searchable on GitHub. There are different Slack channels for different Argo sub projects in the CNCF Slack workspace with over 14,000 members. Last but not least, as I mentioned earlier, we host regular contribution contributors meetings to help new or existing contributors. That's a wrap. If you have any questions, you can find us on the CNCF Slack and on various social media. Thank you for listening and see you around at AlgoCamp.